question 1 2y minus 5 is 14. What is the solution for the given equation? So y minus 5 will be 14 by 2, which is 7. So y would be 12. Which of the following points in the xy plane satisfies the given system of inequalities? y less than 2x and y greater than minus x plus 3. So let's first try this uh, first inequality, y less than 2x. Uh, 1 is less than 2, so this matches. 0 is less than 6, this matches. 2 is less than 6, this matches. And negative 2 is less than 8, this also matches. Okay, so now we have to check for the second one minus x, right? So what is minus x going to be? Option A, minus 1, option B, minus 3, option C, minus 3, and option D, minus 4. So y should be greater than minus x plus 3. Okay, yeah. so let's add x plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. So this is 2, this is 0, this is 0 and this is negative 1. So 1 is not greater than 2, 0 is not greater than 0, 2 is greater than 0, minus 2 is not greater than minus 1, so C. In the linear function f0 is 2 and f negative 6 is 0, which equation defines f? Okay, so let's say y is mx plus c. So f0 is 2, which means that c is 2. And f negative 6 is 0. So 0 is negative 6m plus 2. So 6m is 2. So m is 1 third. So y is equal to 1 by 3x plus 2. Option B. The relationship between the possible lengths and corresponding widths of any rectangle with a perimeter of 24 is given here. Which of the following is a graph of this equation in the LW plane? Okay, so 2L plus 2W is 24. So effectively, L plus W is 12. So if we want to look at the x-intercept, it would be 12 comma 0 and the y-intercept would be 0 comma 12. So the right answer would be option D. What is an equation of the graph uh, shown? Let's find the vertex. The vertex is 2 comma negative 5. So y would be a times x minus 2 whole squared minus 5. Because the equation of a parabola is y is equal to a times x minus h whole squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex. So we use that. And now we need to find a, but we actually don't, because if you look at the options, the only option with a negative 2 and a negative 5 is option a. The solution to the given system of equations is x plus y. What is x minus y? Okay, so x square minus y square is 32, which is x plus y times x minus y. x plus y is 8, so 8 times x minus y is 32, so x minus y is 4. The relationship between two variables is linear. For every increase in the value of x by 1, the value of y increases by 4. When the value of x is 2, the value of y is 11, which equation represents this relationship? So the slope is 4, right? Because slope is delta y over delta x, which is 4 by 1. So as you increase x by 1, y increases by 4. So slope is 4. So I can say y is equal to 4x plus c. And when x is 2, y is 11. So 11 is equal to 8 plus c. So c is 3. So y is equal to 4x plus 3. How many solutions does this equation have? 5x minus 10 is 1 by 10. 
50 x minus 100 so 5 x minus 10 is 5 x minus 10 since both the sides are the same this would have infinitely many solutions the equation above models the fuel economy in miles per gallon of fuel of a certain vehicle as a function of constant vehicle speed s in miles per hour where s is between 20 and 70 based on the model which of the following is the best interpretation of e25 is equal to 24 so this is the x variable and this is the y variable so x is the speed so when the vehicle has a constant speed of 25 miles per hour the fuel economy its predicted fuel economy is 24 so c the given function models the population of a town t years after 2016 which of the following models the function of the town n months after 2016 basically if you look at months then you would just have to do n by 12 right because here we have t which is years and if i have n which is months then to convert that to years i would have to do n by 12 right so it would simply be 1263 times 1 1.04 to the power n by 12. When x is 0, the value of y is 75. The value of y increases by 9% for every increase of 1 in the value of x. Which equation represents the relationship between x and y? So we can use the exponential function. Final value is initial value times growth factor to the power t. Right? Now here, uh, we can write a as y. P, the initial value is 75 growth factor is 1.09 because y increases by 9% and the variable t can be replaced by x so this would be um, y is 75 times 1.09 to the power x in 1994 Sergei Bubka of Ukraine set the world record for men's outdoor pole vaulting the data in the table shows uh, his height in the air x seconds after leaving the ground which equation represents the data so this is a quadratic function right so we'll have to choose from these options now if you plot this it will be a parabola that opens downward right because you're plotting the height against time and with time the height is increasing and then it decreases so when the parabola opens downward, the leading coefficient has to be negative, which means C and D are out. Between A and B, we can just see which one uh, would work. So let's put uh, X equal to one. So when you put X equal to one, A doesn't work because then the height comes to negative 16. But if you put X equal to one here, then the height comes to 20. So it's B. What is one solution to the given equation? So if you use the discriminant formula, minus b plus minus under root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So that would be minus 4 plus minus 16 plus 40 divided by 4. So minus 4 plus minus 56 divided by 4. So that's minus 4 plus minus. Now this can be written as 14 into 4. So if you take 2, 2 root 14 by 4. So that's minus 1 plus minus root 14 by 2. Minus 1 plus root 14 by 2. Option B. b squared minus 3 into b squared plus 3 is b to the power 4 minus a. In this equation, a is a constant. What is the value of a? So b squared minus 3 times b squared plus 3 would be b to the power 4 minus 9. a minus b into a plus b is a squared minus b squared. So the value of a is 9. 
the solution to the given system of equations is x comma y what is the value of y okay so let's just add them so we'll get 3x is um 9 so x is 3 no this will be 8 minus 5 3 negative 9 so x is negative 3 and if x is negative 3 then Plugging it in the first one, 15 plus 7y is 92. So 7y is 77. So y is 11. Sandra owns a square field that measures 80 meters on each side. She leases a triangular corner of the field to a farmer. The figure shown represents Sandra's field and the shaded triangle is the land that she has leased. What is the area of the field that Sandra does not lease to the farmer? So that will be the area of the square minus area of the triangle. So area of the square is 80 times 80 and area of the triangle is half 40 times 50. Half base into height. So 6400 minus um, 1000. So that's 5400. How many liters of 10% salt solution should be added to 5 liters of 25% salt solution to obtain a 15% salt solution? Okay, so let's say X liters of 10% solution is added to 5 liters of 25% solution. So you get X plus 5 liters of a 15% salt solution. So then if you add the quantities of salt, you'll get 0.1x plus 0.25 into 5 is 0.15 into x plus 5. Okay, then you get 0.1x plus uh, 1.25 is 0.15x plus 0.75. So 0.05x is 0.5, so x is 10. We need to add 10 liters.